Now, sometimes you want to select something in the DOM that you don't want to name directly. So let's let's take an example here. Um, I have no problem with this part being blue, but let's say we wanted to change the anchor color of this one to say pink because we like we think the pink goes better with the red or something. So um, let's take a look here. What we could do is just go to that one and name this a. We could attach a class to it uh, or something like that, but we want to avoid attaching too many classes, right? Um, although certainly some systems overload things with classes, right now just a few are enough. And right now we don't have to change anything in order to address this. Why? Because what we want as a rule is we want to select every A tag that is a descendant of a class red, right? So we want to, we, we really want to address only those A tags that show up in an element that has been made part of the class red. So, you know, again, if we wanted to just do, uh, to change it to pink on its own, what we would do is we would just add in a rule that said A color is pink. And we'd save it and we'd refresh it and that would change it pink. But it also changes this one pink, so that's not really what we want. So instead of it doing every A, we are going to do, oops, I closed that up, we're going to do only those that are part of, uh, that are within uh, a class red. So this little space here, what it means is that you take every A that's inside of red, or that is a descendant of red. So we start with by selecting, we look for red, and then we look for the A's inside of red. Okay, so we're going to save that. We should probably not be saying inside, but rather a descendant. So this A isn't affected, right, because it's not, it has no red in its parentage. But here we have an A with a red in its parentage, a red, one of its, either its parents or its parents' parents was of the class red, and therefore it turns this one pink. So that space is really important here, we say. We were looking for an A that ha that is a descendant of red. You can also, just as a side note here, um, apply things to multiple um, tags, so we can select more than one thing. So for example, we could, address has two Ds, doesn't it? Address, we could apply this to H1 and to address. We'll save it. Save. And we'll refresh this. And you'll see that now it's applying to both of these, right? So two things that we need to note here. The space means that we look for something that is a uh, an element or a tag that is a descendant of the tag directly to the left of it. And the comma lets us do multiple things to select um, with the same rule. All right.